This G4 podcast is presented by Yaris. Toyota, moving forward. We asked you, do you think violent video games cause real-world violence? Well, according to our bloody and submissive vote counters, a resounding 91% of you said no, they don't. Now over to a man who wishes in-game hookups resulted in real-world dates, Mr. Kevin Elder Pereira. Oh, I wish they translated. They just don't, no matter how much you play them. Yesterday, Rockstar Games announced that the new game Bully is coming out in October, and today, violence in video games is a hot topic once again. The link between virtual violence and real crime continues to be an explosive topic. So strap on your flame-retardant helmet because we're heading headfirst into the loop. Joining us via satellite to help us make sense of all the violent madness, attorney and conservative activist Jack Thompson is here. Mark Friedler, CEO Kevin. of leading industry newsletter Game Daily, joins us and our resident gaming expert and X-Play co-host Adam Sessler. Gentlemen, welcome to The Loop. Uh, Mr. Thompson, I'd like to start with you, sir, Thanks. because you personally led protests against the game Bully, and I'm wondering, do, do you have something against the game in particular, or do you just not want it to be released altogether? Well, in 1999, I represented six parents whose three children were shot and killed in Paducah, Kentucky. Michael Carneal trained on the game Doom to do it. A week before Columbine, I predicted Columbine on the Today Show. And every bullying expert who's aware of this game has predicted that this game will lead to real world violence in schools. Uh, the American Psychological Association in August of 2005 issued a blockbuster report which says that there's a direct causal link between interactive gameplay of violent games and real world increased aggression and violence in adolescents and teenagers. So, you know, your poll of your viewers who are mostly gamers is, is interesting. Of course. But now, it, flies in the, it, it flies in the face of all the science and all the medicine. True, true. Now, Adam, that, now that study that, that Jack is referring to said there was a link. Yeah, there are other study. studies that came out that a said study. it also shows that, you know, violent people tend to like violent images, which was also represented in that same study. Do you believe that bully is going to be responsible for an increase in any violent crimes? No. It's, just, it's, 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 it's on the face of it kind of preposterous. And you know what? It's actually really disturbing and intellectually dishonest and somewhat pernicious to try to say that with all the other ills in the world, you have kids that are getting absolutely poor education in public schools where they're not getting good medical care given to our health care system and with, all, and, 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 and with the fact that people can't seem to get so, a decent job. Though. What is causing trouble among America's youth so, in schools? Oh, it has to be a video game. Anyone of thought should find so, that insulting at the face of it. So, so the solution to bad grades is for kids to spend more time playing video games? Bad is that grades? Your answer? We are talking about violence. I believe that there are greater reasons for the social ills of adolescent violence than playing a video game because I believe that violence was existing prior to the release of even Pong. Mark, what do you think well, about you this? Know, have, video games, have video games led to, to this huge disturbance? Is Bully going to be responsible for violent crime in schools? Well, it's an interesting, it's an interesting question. And uh, in fact, on our Game Daily newsletter uh, just a few months ago, we had a very in-depth article about violence and the causality of games and violence in youth. And in fact, the findings of the psychologist who wrote that article, and it was a very scholarly article, in fact, if you go to our site, gamedaily.com, and type in violence, you'll be able to find it. Uh, that flies in the face of um, what Mr. Thompson is saying. And from what I understand of Bully, I haven't seen the game, but I understand it's kind of tongue-in-cheek. It's, um, you know, it's a game after all. Now, we don't, as um, as a newsletter or as our consumer site, we don't condone gratuitous violence uh, in any way, shape, or form. It just happens to be that is one of the expressions you know, that happens in video games. However, I personally, as a father, am a lot more concerned about the really vile lyrics that I hear in hip-hop music all day long, the sure. stuff I see on TV, even the things I see on cartoons on TV. So I think overt violent images aren't really a well, positive thing for society, of but course, at the same uh, time... Mark, it's I want to bring this back to Bully, though, because that, that's the topic at hand here. And Jack, have you spent any time with Bully? Have you actually seen the game being played at all? No, re really, nobody has except people that uh, Rockstar and Take-Two want to see it. But what I provided on the Internet were exclusive screenshots, not the three that Rockstar had up for months, showing a, a dunking of a, a black student's head in a dirty toilet, 
uh, body slamming, punching, the descriptions of the game itself in which you use slingshots to shoot people and bludgeon teachers and students with cricket bats. I mean, this is uh, this actually, is you know what? Actually, Rockstar has actually come out and this said an that, 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 that the hurting of teachers is not something that happens in the game. And then much of the stuff that you're describing, well, I, even I at one point did believe that that might be the subject matter of the game, if has been repeatedly denied not, by Rockstar. I don't understand why you can't even at least give them the benefit of the doubt until the game comes out. Well, 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 well. let me tell you a couple of reasons why we shouldn't give Take, Star, Take Two the benefit of the doubt. One is... This is the company that said they didn't put the hot coffee sex mod in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, number one. Number two is there have been earlier descriptions of the game in which you bludgeon teachers, and they didn't disavow them. Now, there's been a year since I sued retailers, also got the fourth largest school district in the country to pass a resolution condemning the game and its release, and it may in fact be that Take-Two has modified the game because of that pressure. There's a real simple solution here. That is, show me the game. Give me Adam. the game, and I'll play it, and I'll, I'll let them know whether or not I or anybody else has a problem with it. But what they want to do is keep it. So why don't we just hold they off until keep, the game no, comes no, no. out? Because it's going to then be out. They want to keep it under wraps until it's released, and then but, the but horse is out of the barn. But you're speaking as if some type of virus that will suddenly infect all of us who have lay, lay, lay hands on, and suddenly we'll just have rampant violence. I think even you would have to acknowledge that that's a rather insane thing to, 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 to try to claim. Claim what? Well, you're, you're claiming that this game, if we don't stop it before it's released, will cause rampant violence among many teens who actually get their hands on it, especially if it does get the T rating. It just, it, you on, know, on the you face actually, of it, it just doesn't need hold. To, what, you, what you need to do is actually do real research rather than, than uh, state your position because it's the American Psychological Association, not Jack Thompson. There are, there are many reports on direct cause of I, 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 I want to interrupt here real quick because I want to go to Mark because you are a parent here. I'm curious, has your child uh, I'm a ever parent been. A, too. Uh, okay, well, Jack, uh, for you as well, but, but to Mark specifically here, uh, has your child ever, ever uh, seen, maybe, or perhaps heard of another child having his head dunked in a toilet or being punched or kicked? Aren't these images that children may have been exposed to many times before in, in, in thousands of other situations? I mean, my, my two boys punch and kick each other all the time. They've never played video games, so, you know, there you have it. Um, you know, and they're four and six. <laughs> but, seri <laughs> but seriously, I mean, to Mr. Thompson's point, you know, look, uh, gr gratuitous violence isn't great, but at the same time, we live in still a, a free country. The First Amendment is still here. Creative expression is protected. And at the end of the day, it's the responsibility of parents to decide what their young kids consume, and it's the responsibility of parents to know how their kids spend their time. So if there's something this that Mr. Nothing. Thompson, if there's something that Mr. Thompson finds objectionable, he's in every right to keep his kids or, who, or his relatives or whomever he wants no. away from it. But he's that's, not in his right to tell. That's not the issue. Tell, well, it is the issue. Well, I think actually, what, no, it what, isn't. What, what, what no, 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 no. I'm sorry, it isn't. Because let me tell you. In, in the UK, they have laws that prevent the sale of adult and adult-themed mature-rated games to kids. They have a First Amendment or its equivalent there. No, they and do the not. point is, of course they do. They do not have any type of it's constitution the, it's where something the, sanctioned as the First Amendment is in this country. All right, folks, no, no, far no, more no, dubious. No, We've got to keep the debate incorrect. on this shore, unfortunately. And we can debate whether or not game developers or rating systems or the government are to blame. But until Kevin, parents are, are willing to accept some responsibility for their actions of their children, yada, yada, so Kevin, on and so forth. Thanks Kevin, to our guests, Kevin. Jack, Mark, and, of course, Adam, for keeping us in the loop. It's definitely a hot topic, and I'm sure we'll get back to it at some point in the near future.